Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. Okay, so, okay, so first of all, normally I don't do this, but in this lesson I'll pretty much be teaching the entire theme of all the motifs. There are six sections to this, so it's a longer tutorial than usual. Okay, I don't usually do this, but a few of my students really want to learn this, and I guess for me as well, um, I reckon this song, pretty much every single section is very catchy, so might as well teach you all the sections. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I'll give you a preview of the first section first. Every section that I do, I'll give you a preview, okay? So there are six sections in total. The first section we're learning is this section. So that's the first section. The reason why we're breaking it up like this because the second section uh, and the third section there's something related to it and then in the between there's another repeat of this first section. Okay, so that's why we're breaking it up like this. But anyway, let's go ahead and learn it. Okay, so uh, let me see. Okay, so breaking up into three parts for this first section, let's go. Right hand for the first part goes like this starting on the A here. So middle C is here, right? We go up to this A, that's where we start. So it goes a, C, D, 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 E, F, 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 G, E, E, D, C, C, D. And that's it for the right hand, okay? So one more time for this first part, so it goes like this. A, C, D, 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 E, F, 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 G, E, E, D, C, C, D. So that's that for the right hand for this first part. Okay, once you get that, the left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords for the first part, they are D minor, which is D, F, A. Second chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. Third chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. And the fourth chord is D minor, which is D, F, A. Okay, so with those four chords in mind, so D minor, B flat major, A minor, and D minor, the two hands together goes like this. Okay, right hand starts first, goes D and D minor together, F and B flat major together, E and A minor together, second C and D minor together, just like that. Okay, one more time for this first part, so it goes like this, together. Just like that, and that is the first part, okay? Now, moving on to the second part. The second part, right hand continues like this, so it goes A, C, D, 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 E, F, 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 G, E, E, D, C, D, like that. That's the right hand for the second part. One more time for the second part, so it goes like this. A, C, D, 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 E, F, 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 G, E, E, D, C, D, like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords here, okay? So the four chords are B flat major, which is B flat D, F, followed by the second chord is F major, which is F, A, C, third chord, which is C major, which is C, E, G, and then followed by the fourth chord, which is D minor, which is D, F, A. So those are the four chords, okay? With that in mind, so B flat major, F major, C major, and D minor. These chords, two hands together for the second part goes like this. Right hand starts, D and B flat major together. F and F major together. E and C major together. D and D minor together. Just like that, okay? So, that's that for the second part. One more time, it goes like this. Together, 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 together. Just like that, okay? So that is the second part. Moving on to the third and last part of this first section. Right hand continues. It goes A, C, D, 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 F, G, 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 A, B flat, B flat, A, G, A, down to D. And then D, E, F, F, G, A, D, like that. And that is the yeah, third part. A bit longer than usual, but no problem. Let's go once more again. So the right hand goes like this. A, C, D, 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 F, G, 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 A, B flat, B flat, A, G, A, D. D, E, F, F, G, A, D. 
and that's it for the right hand, okay? So the left hand, we have six chords here for this third part. Yes, a bit more chords, but no problem. The six chords are D minus, the first chord, D, F, A. Second chord is the first inversion of um, G minor, which is B flat, D, G. Third chord is G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Fourth chord is D minor, which is D, F, A. Fifth chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. And the sixth chord is D minor once again, which is D, F, A. So with those six chords in mind, so D minor, first inversion, G minor, G minor, and then D minor, and then B flat major, back to D minor again. So with these six chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, it goes D and D minor together. G and first inversion together. B flat, G minor together. A and D minor together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Together. Missed out the last two chords just then. Okay, but anyway, what, let's do it one more time. So it goes like this. Okay, yes, okay. So that's that. Okay, so pay attention and do it that way. Okay, but anyway, that's that. And that is the end of the first section, okay? And then moving on, the song continues on to the second section, which is a very short section. The reason why I'm breaking it up like this because after the second section, it actually goes back to the first section and then it goes to another section, which is kind of like continue on that. But anyway, second section goes like this, really short, it goes like this. Like that, super short stuff, okay? But anyway, let's load it right now. So it just goes D, F, E, E, F, D, E, like that. Any seven notes for the section for the right hand, super short. Okay, one more time, so it goes D, F, E, E, F, D, E, like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand, left hand, just two chords here, two A major chords, A, C sharp, E, so two of them. So with the two A major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts first, E and A major together, E and A major together, just like that, okay? So, yes, that is that. Okay. After the second section, as you can see in the structure, it goes back to the first section, which you know. Okay, now, it goes to another section, section three this time, and this next section three is a bit different to um, those other sections, and that's why we need to learn. I'll give you a preview of section three right now. It goes like this. Goes like this, okay, let me see. Like that. Okay. Otherwise you can actually do it like this. Let me see. It goes you can um So there's like two ways to do it. There's one that you can add the bass notes in and one that you don't have to do it so if you like not coordinate it enough to do the bass notes in because it's kind of fast going down as the bass notes. But anyway, teach you the bass note thing um, as well so you can just like learn it and have fun with it. But anyway, let's go ahead and learn it right now. Let's break it up into two parts, I guess. First part goes like this. Right hand goes D, F, E, E, D, C sharp, D, D, E, F, F, G, A. Okay, so one more time, so it goes like this. It goes D, F, E, E, D, C sharp, D, D, E, F, F, G, A, like that. Okay, so that is the right hand for this first part, okay? So one more time for this first part, just in case. D, F, E, E, D, C sharp, D, D, E, F, F, G, A. That's it for the right hand, okay? Left hand, we have a bunch of things here, so we're gonna just teach you the bass uh, note version as well, so you can just try it out for yourself. If you can't do that, just do the chords, okay? But anyway, here we go. We have, firstly, we have two chords here, which is, first chord is A major, A, C sharp, E, followed by D minor, second chord is D minor, which is D, F, A, and then instantly, we have five bass notes, which is, and following D, C sharp, C, C, B flat, and then finish off with another chord, second inversion of D minor, which is A, D, F. Yeah, so quite a lot of elements here for this first part. So yeah, one more time, so it goes like this, okay? So basically, we start off with two chords. So it goes A major, followed by D minor, and then goes bass notes, D, C sharp, C, C, B flat, and then the chord D minor, second inversion, like that. 
Yeah, with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes right hand starts first, E and an A major together, D and D minor together, and then the bass notes together, 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 and then A, and the second version chord together, like that. Yeah. Okay, quite a lot of stuff here, but one more time it goes together. changes at the end there but anyway yeah that's the first part moving on to the second part right hand continues on down to the F D A up more than an octave stretch to the high B flat down to F D B flat and up to E F F and that's it one more time so it goes like this it goes F D A up to B flat F D B flat and then up to E F F and that's it left hand two chords here the two chords are G minor which is G B flat D followed by A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So with these two chords in mind, so G minor followed by A major, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts off first with the first three notes, up to the B flat and G minor together, E and A major together, like that, one more time. So it goes like this, so it goes, and then together, together, and that's it. Okay, moving on now to the fourth section. Fourth section continues on like this. I'll give you a preview right now. So it goes like this. Like that. Okay, let's learn it. Break it up to two parts. Right hand first part goes like this. It's on the A up here. So C, C, A. Goes A, 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 B flat, A. G, 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 A. And that's the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes like this. A, 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 B flat, A. G, 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 A. That's it for the right hand. So that's that. Left hand, we have three chords here. The first three chords are D minor, which is D, F, A. Second chord is C major, which is C, E, G. Third chord back to D minor, which is D, F, A. Yeah, with these three chords in mind, D minor, C major, D minor. The two hands together goes like this. A and D minor together. So it's together, two. G and C major together, and then next G and D minor together. That's the first part. One more time for this first part. So it goes together, 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 just like that. Okay. So that's that. Okay. So the second part. The second part. Uh, let me see. The second part. Um, okay. Yeah. Second part. Right hand continues. It goes A A A B flat A. And then G, F, E, D. Just like that for the right hand for the second part. One more time as it goes. A, 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 B flat, A. And then G, F, E, D. And that's it. That's it for the right hand for the second part of this fourth section. Left hand, we have four chords here. Okay, the four chords are D minor, which is D, F, A. G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Followed by this, um, A major, passing chord A, C sharp, E. Followed by D minor again, which is D, F, A. So with those four chords in mind, D minor, G minor, A major, and D minor. The two hands together goes like this, A and D minor together. G and G minor together. E and A major together. D and D minor together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. 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 Just like that for this fourth section, okay? So, that is that. Moving on to the fifth section, one of my personal favorite sections, the really calming section, goes like this. Give you a preview. sections here but anyway let's learn it break it up to four parts first part goes like this right hand goes D E F G A G F E F G A G that's the first part one more time for the first part for the right hand so it goes D E F G A G F E F G A G and that's it for the first part for the right hand okay so left hand we have four chords here the four chords are D minor which is D F A Followed by C major as a second chord, C E G. Third chord, F major, F A C. And fourth chord is C major, which is C major, C E G once again. 
Okay, so with those four chords in mind, so D minor, C major, F major, and C major, the two hands together for this first part of this fifth section goes like this. Right hand goes first, F and D minor together, G and G major together, F and F major together, G and C major together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Just like that, okay? So, that is that. Moving on to the second part. The second part, right hand continues, it goes F, G, A, G, F, E, F, E, D, E, C, D. Just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. F, G, A, G, F, E, F, E, D, E, C, D. And that's it for the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, we have five chords here for the second part. The five chords are F major, which is F, A, C, followed by the second chord is A major, A, C sharp, E. Third chord, D minor, D, F, A. Fourth chord to C major, C, E, G. And then fifth chord back to D minor, which you know, D, F, A. So, with those five chords in mind, so F major, A major, D minor, C major, D minor. Two hands together goes like this for this second part of this fifth section. All right, and starts first. A and F major together. E and A major together. D and D minor together. C and C major together. D and D minor together. Just like that. One more time, it goes like this. Just like that. Okay, moving on to the third part of this fifth section. Right hand continues, it goes D, E, F, E, F, G, F, G, A, G, F, D. And that's it for the third part. One more time, so it goes like this. D, E, F, E, F, G, F, G, A, G, F, D. That's the right hand for this third part. Once you get that left hand, four chords here for the third part. The four chords are D minor, D, F, A. Second chord is C major once again, which is C, E, G. Third chord is F major, which is F, A, C. Fourth chord is B flat major, which is B flat D, F. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so D minor, C major, F major, and B flat major. All these chords are really like repeating throughout the whole song, so you should know them pretty well already. But anyway, yeah, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first, then F and D minor together. G and C major together. A and F major together. D and B flat major together. Just like that. One more time, it goes like this. Together, just like that. And moving on to the fourth and last part of this fifth section, right hand goes like this, goes D, E, F, G, A, B flat, down to D, up to G, F, G, E, D. Just like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. D, E, F, G, A, B flat, down to D, up to G, F, G, E, D. Just like that for the right hand, okay? So that's the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are D minor, which is D, F, A. Second chord is G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Third chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. And fourth chord back to D minor, which is D, F, A. So, with these four chords in mind, so D minor, G minor, A major, D minor. The two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first. F and D minor together. B flat, G minor together. F and A major together, D and D minor together, just like that. And that's the fourth part. One more time, it goes like this. And that is it for this fifth section. Okay, and moving on to the sixth and last section of this uh, lesson goes like this. Okay, let me see. Right hand. Uh, okay, actually no. Before we do that, I'll give you a preview. This is see this awesome section as well. It goes like this. Let's go ahead and learn this awesome last section, okay? Here we go, break it up to four parts once again. First part goes like this, starting on the A up here. So, middle C, up to C, up to A, there. So it goes A, up to B flat, and then A, 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 G. And then it goes, oh no, that's the first part, okay? And that's that for the first part. One more time, it goes like this. A, B flat, A, 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 G. 
And that is that for the first part for the right hand, okay? So left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are D minor, which is D, F, A. Second chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. Third chord is F major, which is F, A, C. And the fourth chord is C major, which is C, E, G. So, with these four chords in mind, so D minor, B flat major, F major and C major, the two hands together goes like this, A and D minor together, so it's together, B flat and B flat major together, A and F major together, A and C major together, just like that, one more time, so it goes like this, together, 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 like that, okay, yeah, here we go, now, moving on to the second part, right hand continues, G, F, E, F, E, E, D, like that. One more time, so it goes like this for the right hand. So it goes G, F, E, F, E, E, D, like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the second part. Left hand, four chords here, four chords are G minor, G, B flat, D, and then D minor, D, F, A, and third chord is A major, A, C sharp, E, then the fourth chord, back to D minor, which you know, D, F, A. So, these four chords in mind, so G minor, D minor, A major, and D minor, Two hands together for this second part goes like this G and G minor together, F and D minor together, E and A major together, E and D minor together, just like that. One more time, so it goes like this together, two, three, together, two, three, together, together, just like that. Yeah, just like that. Okay, yeah, with that in mind, let's go ahead and move on to the third part. Third part, right hand continues like this it goes D, E, F, A. D, E, F, B flat, D, E, F, A, A up to the C, A, G. Yeah, just like that. Kind of variation like a first part, but it's a bit harder with more notes. Okay, one more time, it goes D, E, F, A, D, E, F, B flat, D, E, F, A, A, C, A, G. Yeah, so that's that for the third part for the right hand, okay? Left hand, four chords here, four chords are D minor, D, F, A, B flat major, B flat, D, F, Third chord, F major once again, F, A, C. Fourth chord, C major, C, E, G. So same four chords as the first part of the sixth section, okay? With that in mind, so D minor, B flat major, F major, C major. The two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first. A and D minor together. B flat, B flat major together. A and F major together. A and C major together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. 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 Just like that for the third part, okay? Moving on to the fourth and last part of this section, also the end of this lesson as well. Right hand goes G, F, E, F, E, D. So it's really similar. Uh, in fact, it's pretty much nearly the same as the second part, but it just doesn't end with the extra E, okay? So check it out. Uh, it goes like this. Even the chords and stuff, check it out. It's just the same. But for the last note, just finish on D and D minor together. Instead of the E, D, remember? So, yeah, so you can see the similarities between this fourth part and this second part of this section, okay? So, yeah, fourth part ends on the E, D, but for this one, just end on just a D. Yeah, so that's the only thing that is different, but all the left hand chords are the same, placement, everything is the same, just that the right hand subtract one note, okay? So, it's together, one, two, three, it's together, one, two, three, E, F, E, D, whoops, <laughs> that was the second part, my bad. So, it goes G, F, E, F, E, D. Yeah, so remember that. So don't make it the same mistake, okay? So, yeah, similar to the second part, but different in the sense that finish right on the D, just like that. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it, okay? So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this lesson, teaching pretty much all the entire theme of Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't normally do this, as I said before, it's because a lot of my private students was behaving very good and really want to learn this song. And yeah, if, and as for me as well, as I said, Pirates of the Caribbean is just a super catchy song. You can't really pick which section to do because like all the sections are pretty awesome as well. But anyway, yeah, hope you made it to the end here. And as for now, if you enjoyed this, go ahead um, check out my other piano tutorials on this channel. I have over 2,600 of them. But anyway, as for now, check out all my other methods on my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. And as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.